Love it. So I guess I'll just start by saying this, you know, when we talk about shooting at, the, at our shooting colleges and things like that, we talk about, you know, being able to shoot like an athlete. So how do athletes move and generally just create power generation and things like that. There's also the art of it. Every shooter is not the same. We're not creating just, you know, one specific shot for everybody. Everybody's shots a little different. And then there's the scientific aspect, which is what we just talked about with the measurement. So great shooters are great athletes, artists, and scientists. Now, what we want to talk about right now is kind of the athlete piece of it. Um, whenever we create power and force and want something to go in a straight line in any other sport, um, we tend to want to look wherever our follow through is. So if I have a baseball, right, a lot of them start tilted, they turn, they throw, and they're looking down the line, their eyes and their follow through are in line with one another. Um, football, same thing. I played quarterback and they taught us how to rotate our body, follow through down the line. If you watch like professional dart players that actually just start turn and throw archers, right? Riflemen, everybody that does anything in terms of power generation and getting something to go straight, they want their eyes and their follow through wherever the path of the ball or whatever it is that they're throwing to go in the same direction as their eyes. But in basketball, for a long time, we were taught 10 toes, square shoulders to the rim and we shoot the basketball and when we do that our follow through you know the barrel of our shot right here and our eyes are not in alignment with one another and so to overcompensate with that we end up doing things that cause us to be less athletic and less accurate because we have to either push with two hands and you see a lot of two-hand shooters come in like that um, or you see a lot of shooters that come across their face and push the ball to the other side because they have to try to get their arm in line with their eyes. They fight to get that alignment, but because their shoulders are square, they do so inefficiently. And so what we talk about at PGC to correct this is what we call a tilted footprint. And on a tilted footprint, instead of starting with my toes square, we start tilted. And when I tilt, my eyes and my follow through can come in line with one another while also having all my momentum to go towards the basket. It's how we do things in every other sport except for basketball. And I think when we teach players how to shoot that way, the first thing I see is more power, um, a quicker shot, and way more accuracy with less left and right misses because their bodies are naturally in line with where they're looking. And so we call it a tilted footprint. Right is will tilt a little bit naturally to the left to get that right shoulder closer to the rim lefties will shoot and they'll tilt a little bit to the right, getting that left shoulder closer to the rim here. But the whole point is to get their eyes and their follow through in line with one another. And that can create a lot more consistency in a shot.